Did you see this candle right here? This is a Bitcoin tornado warning. How much worse are we about to get? We're about to break it down. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Steve. On this channel, we talk about just the cold hard facts in the charts. Hit that subscribe button. You're gonna love it here. Let's jump into the video. Bitcoin US dollar index on the weekly chart. We just breached our red line right here with this candle. And we've got a tornado warning in our sights. And we wanna talk about how bad is this going to get. I also have another chart right here where we breached market structure on the RSI, on the weekly chart, something that we've been following for quite a while. There's a lot of action and price action happening also with the stochastic RSI. I'm gonna be doing this chart as a bonus video for everyone in the FFA, shout out to the FFA. You cannot sign up right now, it's locked. You can't go to the website, there's no way to sign up. But a special bonus video for the exclusive FFA members coming your way. But let's jump back into this one. So this chart right here is incredibly powerful and Bitcoin has just made a major, major breach of our red line which spells a very particular story. We've got to break it down. And again, we've been following this chart for months and months and months, and we're on the Pi cycle bottom indicator. So you can pull it up and we're on the weekly chart, and then everything is about to make perfect sense. But keep a close eye on this candle. I want you to take a mental screenshot, and it's gonna become very, very clear in a moment. By the way, Later in the video, I'm gonna talk about the ridiculous hoops I had to jump through just to make this video. And I don't know if it's actually gonna reach you. So if you're watching this right now, somehow it reached you and it had to go through a crazy, a crazy process to get to you. I'll explain that a little bit later. Now, Pi cycle bottom indicator. We're gonna talk about our first market cycle in 2012, our second market cycle, 2016, our third market cycle in 2019. And once we talk about those three cycles, it's gonna become real clear what's about to happen for Bitcoin. But let's start, let's take our journey back to 2012, right? 2012, it happened like this. This is phase one of the bull. Phase one of the bull was right here. When we came out from our bottom, into this structure here, and it took us a couple hundred days to reach a higher price. Phase one went sideways. It was very, very boring, uh, but not just sideways. We actually dropped in phase one about 50%, okay? So this is typical for phase one, and it's typical where if we breach this red line, we hold support on the screen line. It's very, very simple, okay? So the first market cycle, it breached this red line and we fell and held support at this green line, all right? Second cycle, 2016, this is phase one of the bull. And again, you can see it really clearly. This is the bottom of the market. This is the bottom of the market. The market moves into phase one of the bull when we have this cross. When the red line crosses up, we're in phase one of the bull. And phase one of the bull reached this high price here. We went sideways for a couple hundred days. It did not get a higher price for a couple hundred days, however, we held support at this red line. And when you hold support at this red line, you never play with the green line, okay? So we held support at this red line throughout. As soon as we broke support at this red line, that was our big warning sign of what was to come, okay? And it was multiple years of turmoil once we broke this red line, all right? So then we go forward. 2019. We're on our third market cycle and we're almost talking about the current one, right? So 2019, what happened? This was the bottom of our market. We entered phase one of the bull when this red line crossed up and the market went sideways for about 500 days. It took us about 500 days to reach a higher price, okay? Phase one of the bull actually breached our red line, which we did before. We did it in 2012. So out of our three times, we broke this red line twice, and both of those times we fell to the green line holding support, okay? So another way to look at it, and what we've talked about previously, is 66% of the time, Bitcoin breached this red line and fell to the green during the bull, okay? So the key is Bitcoin was still in phase one of the bull, even though we fell to the green line here. Bitcoin was still in phase one of the bull, 
even though we fell to the green line here. The noteworthy material is that when we breached this line here, it added about one year of recovery to Bitcoin. Okay, so that was breaching this line with the body closing below the red line. Not this candle. This is the candle that counted. This candle was our breakthrough candle. This was our confirmation candle. This candle gave us confirmation that we're in trouble. Okay, tornado warning. Now, what's happening today? And I want to give my opinion of what's happening as well. But first, we need to just talk purely about the facts and break them down for pure black and white, real cold hard facts, okay? Because what we've seen happen in Bitcoin recently was a drop in price and everyone freaks out, right? This happens all the time. I've been covering Bitcoin for six years. It doesn't matter if Bitcoin moves up a couple dollars or a couple dollars down, people just freak out. I don't know why, but let's break it down. And if you watch our channel, you have been prepared for exactly this phase one of the bull and what to expect with phase one of the bull. But for those of you who are relatively new, let's break it down because you can see we just breached this red line. Okay. Now, when we breach this red line, we need a candle to close below as resistance. This is not. This is our breakdown candle. We do not have a confirmation candle yet. We will have a confirmation candle a week from today. And that confirmation candle, if it's below this level right here of 27,800, if it's below that when we close and we close a body below, we can tell from the previous cycle, we're probably going to drop to the green. And it's not out of the ordinary. We've talked about it many times. We've dropped to the green literally 66% of the time. It's literally the majority of the time when we break this, we drop to the green, okay? Only one cycle, we did not breach the red line, and that was the 2016 cycle. That was quite literally the only cycle where we didn't breach it. The other two, we did. So here we are again, and we're in the midst of breaching it. Okay, so is this out of the ordinary? Did Bitcoin do something crazy? Is the sky falling? No, we've done this 66% of the time. It's literally the majority of our market cycles. We've breached this red line. It's quite literally. And is this something that we predicted? This is irrelevant of prediction or not. This is what we've talked about time and time again in every video. We said, look, if Bitcoin holds this red line as support, we'll drop to the green. If we don't breach this red line, we're not going to drop to the green. And by the way, if we drop to the green, we're still in a bull cycle. How do we know that? Because it's just the cold hard facts in the charts. We've literally dropped to the green line here, and we literally dropped to the green line here, and we were still in a bull. This is phase one of the bull. No matter what happens, if we drop to the green or don't drop to the green, we're still in phase one of the bull. So to overreact, to price action moving up or down a little bit, you're going to get caught. People who are really successful never focus on the day to day. People who are really successful focus on the next five years, the next 10 years. People who are struggling to put food on the table are worried about their next meal. They're worried about today. They're going to overreact to everything today. What's going on today? What's price action doing today? What about today, today, today? Don't fall in that trap. That's what they want you to do. That's what the herd is. The herd is in this trap of worried about today, 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 or tomorrow. Don't worry about price action today or tomorrow. This is irrelevant. Worry about the bigger move. Bitcoin is in phase one of the bull. And if you weren't prepared for a potential drop to the green, then you haven't watched our channel. This was a potential. Did we say it was 100% going to happen this way or 100% that way? We're not one of those channels. You'll never hear me say 100% it's this, 100% it's that. We go based on the facts in the charts. The facts in the charts are clear as day. This is phase one of the bull. In phase one of the bull, the majority of the time in these cycles, we fall to the green line. The only time we don't is when we hold this red line as support. It's quite literally the bona fide facts. I mean, you can't argue this. So where is the green at the moment? The green is at about 17.7K. So would it be out of the ordinary for Bitcoin to drop to 17.7K? No, it's literally done that in the majority of these cycles. Now, if it drops here, everyone would scream, oh my God, there we go again. We're, we're back in the bear market. 
we're not. There's no evidence in the chart to suggest if we drop to the green, we're in a bear market. It's actually the opposite. If you look at just the fact we fell to the green here, we fell to the green here. So now, are we going to fall to the green? We haven't confirmed this candle. We have to go by the facts, not, oh my God, I think this is gonna, I think, I think, I think. Who cares about I think? And who cares about today, tomorrow? We're in phase one of the bull. These kind of moves last for several hundred days. I sat right here about, how many days ago was it now? 133 days ago, I said Bitcoin reached this price here. It's going to go sideways for the next at least 100 days. We're 130 days in. It's right on schedule of what we're supposed to be doing. Again, on this channel, we talk about the next couple hundred days, the next couple years. We don't talk about today or tomorrow. Those things are not where you're going to make your money. The most successful people in the world make their money on looking forward the next couple months, the next couple years, or the next decade. This is where successful people live. This is where their mind is. You got to get your mind there. If you are overreacting to this, you're not meant for Bitcoin. You should not be in crypto. If you're overreacting to $2,000 move in Bitcoin, you should not be in crypto. It's not for you. You mentally can't handle it. This market is for mature minds that are looking forward, that are staying level-headed. Emotion is a money killer. If you want to kill your money, be emotional. But you've got to control your emotions. The most difficult thing to do in crypto. But if you're overreacting to $2,000 move in Bitcoin, you should not be in crypto, period. You're going to end up losing all of your money. And you can talk to anybody who's been in crypto for multiple cycles, and they'll tell you they probably lost a lot of their money earlier because they were too emotional about these. Oh my God, Bitcoin is up $4 today. We're going to freak out. Or Bitcoin's down $4. Oh my God, we've got to sell everything. This type of movement in this type of mindset is going to destroy you. You've got to get your head screwed on right. You've got to look at the correct time frames. You've got to look at the correct structure. And you have to look at the correct facts in the charts, not emotion. Oh, my God. Everybody's saying this. Everybody's saying that. Bitcoin's up. Bitcoin's down. This is stressful. Oh, my God. Crypto might not be for you. You've got to take a deep breath. Everything's fine. We breached our red line. Okay. Who cares? We, it's literally 66% of the time we did exactly that. So is this out of the ordinary? Is this some, oh my God, Elon Musk did this. Oh my God, we've never done this. We've done it every cycle. We've got to look at the big picture. You've got to remain level-headed. Now, I want to talk about my honest opinion. What I think is going to happen, we have to wait for this candle. We cannot make any sort of prediction without further evidence in the chart. It would be silly of me to sit here and say, oh, I think this is going to happen because we have these facts in the charts. We don't have them yet. We need to wait for this candle. On this channel, we don't make predictions based on what I hope is going to happen or maybe flip a coin or make a prediction to get more views. We make predictions based on cold, hard facts. And the facts are we're in phase one of the bull. Nothing has changed there. Even if we dropped all the way down to 17K, we're still in phase one of the bull. That does not change whatsoever. So we're fine. I mean, we're all good. Nothing happened. I saw all sorts of comments on social media, people freaking out. Stay far away from those kind of people. Those kind of people are going to drain your energy out and those kind of people will fail in crypto. You don't want to associate yourself with people who are going to fail in crypto. Crypto is not for everybody. This is a volatile market. And if you're freaked out about this price, get out of crypto now. Take whatever money you have left and put it in some index fund in the S&P 500. And that is probably more your speed. All right. That that will go very slow. You know, make a couple dollars here, lose a couple dollars here. That's probably better for those people who are suited for that. Now, I want to get to the hoops I had to jump through just to make this video. And I don't even know if it's going to reach you. Um, otherwise, I'm just talking to myself at this moment. I don't know. If you're listening to it right now, somehow it reached you. But I'm, in the, I'm on this little remote island. And, you know, sometimes we lose electricity. By sometimes, I mean often. And we don't have good Wi-Fi here. I've got 
the whole the hotel had to come here and they had to install a different router here and we had to jump through hoops i got cords all the way in the back i got cords over here i got all these different things and then we had to get the lighting correct and then sometimes we lose electricity so it's a it's a bit crazy but i've been doing this for you guys for six years and i don't mess around whether bitcoin goes up down left right sideways backwards forwards bull market bear market rainy day snowy day good news bad news I am always here for you. That's one thing you can go back and look at our history of making videos. It doesn't matter what Bitcoin is doing. I am here to provide you value and to calm you down and to help you see the big picture. Try to find another channel that is consistently here, no matter what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin's boring, I'm here. If we're in a bear market, I'm here. If we're in a bull market, I'm here. If Bitcoin crashes, I'm here. If Bitcoin skyrockets, I'm here. If Bitcoin goes sideways, I'm here. Every time, consistency is the key. I am consistently here for you, no matter what. Even when I have uh, no Wi-Fi, no electricity, I'm on a remote island with my family trying to enjoy myself. I should be in the ocean right now, but I'm here making videos for you because we've had this move. People freak out now you should be more level-headed so i hope you appreciate the hoops i have to jump through and i hope you know week after week year after year i've been doing this for six years and i'm consistently here i hope that that is is appreciated a little bit i know it is from the people who 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 really enjoy my channel shout out to the ffa too I'm going to be putting this bonus video out to the FFA to show a lot of love. Trying to, We showed a lot of love the other week to the email list. We showed more love to my students. If you're an OG student, uh, OG, by the way, I saw some comments. Steve, what the hell is an OG? OG, Google it. It's original gangster. Th that, what I mean by that is like my students that were here when I first, 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 first made the courses in like 2017, to early 2018. If you're a student with the old courses, you have a big surprise coming. And if you're just a student of, of my new courses, you have a surprise coming. I'm giving more value to everybody, more value to the email list, more value to the FFA. Um, but yeah, the FFA is on fire. That's really blown my mind. I've worked on that blood, sweat, and tears for more than two years. It's still really new. We'd launched it just this year and it's on fire. I cannot believe it. The, the feedback is just incredible, but you can't sign up to the FFA right now. It's locked. It's locked most of the time. And, um, just trying to do more value. So I'm going to give my honest thoughts on here to the FFA. I'll see you back here in the next video. I'm going to try to do one more video uh, today. So hopefully if this actually works, it will get to you. We will see. Keep your fingers crossed. I'll try to see if I can get another video somehow to your ears and eyes later today. Hit that subscribe button. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.